Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome to Man vs Film. This is another Blu-ray pickup video, and um, you may remember me from some other Blu-ray pickup video where I said I was done with steelbooks, and that was kind of half true. I I'm finished with Zavi. I'm not going to fall into the trap of the limited edition steelbooks that they re-release every year, so that there ends up to be thousands of copies of the things, and you can pick them up for pennies and CEX. No, well, that was a bit of a rant. Ah, we'll just leave that and we'll, we'll move on to This is two anime movies that, um, one that I've seen, one that I haven't seen. I'm, I'm starting to get into anime. Uh, Luke Ryan from Razor Wire Reviews kind of asked me if I wanted to buy a couple. One I had seen, one I hadn't, like I said. I was interested in both and he kind of offered me a fairly decent price. And, you know, I thought, yeah, sure, I'll go for it. Why not? I had some extra cash at the time. I thought I'd... I'd pick up these movies so I've got them here I've, I've just taken them out the envelope I've not opened them up as yet which I am just about to do and we'll see he's, he's wrapped them fairly well and um, yeah still unopened so the first one here is Ghost in the Shell the, the steel book and uh, Blu-ray and I I had obviously knew about Ghost of the Shell it's, it's big it's one of the big sort of anime manga names and I saw the Scarlett Johansson movie first last year, <laughs> which um, was something that kind of left me a bit, I kind of liked it, I didn't like it, I, I went back and I watched um, the original movie, not long after that, and I was blown away by the anime, I thought it was fantastic, it was such a great world building, it was such great characters, and just a weird environment, and it actually made me appreciate the movie a little bit more, uh, by some of the directions they had went, and you know, and I thought it was, it was truly fantastic. Um, this is a fairly nice um, Blu-ray, it's got the major in the front of it, uh, it's come with the booklet as well, it's unopened, thank you Luke, it's came in perfect condition, I appreciate that, and uh, this is one that's going to go into my uh, Ghost in the Cell collection, which I got some other movies here, and I'm working my way through uh, Solid State Society, is it? No... Standalone complex. That's what I'm working. I'm working my way through the TV show, a standalone complex, at the moment, which I'm kind of enjoying. Hoping it's going to pick up. So that's the first one there. The next one I picked up uh, is one that I'm I'm really interested about. I hadn't heard of it before. I seen Luke's review of it, and, and that's what made me kind of perk up and go. I'm I'm curious about this one, and that is Perfect Blue. The reason I'm interested in this is. I do like the anime and I'm kind of easing myself into it and some of the fantastical stuff is pretty good but I, I do like the real world environments, the ones that are just stories that could easily have been filmed into like live action stuff, there's no fantastic elements about it. This looks to be about a pop star from a trio who decides to go into acting and there seems to be a psychological aspect to it as there is a stalker I think and she starts to kind of lose her identity a little bit. I'm all, I'm, I'm big up in the supposing here because I don't actually know. Just watching the trailer, reading the re uh, reviews and seeing what Luke had to say about it made me really interested. Uh, the, I think the best pull quote I saw of it was um, if Alfred Hitchcock teamed up with Disney and that really does just spark something in your head that goes, yeah, I'm really curious about that. I, I want to check that out. Perfect Blue, like I said, um, really nice cover, there's kind of blood and knife and, and stuff like that, it includes four art cards, um, the movie's only 81 minutes, which should be pretty fantastic, I'm hoping, um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping something a little bit different here from some of the other anime I've seen, this looks like a, a really adult thrilling tale, uh, and that's something that I'm really curious about, so no doubt there'll be a video for it at some point when I do get around to watching it. Something a little bit different from the norm, um, to go with the steel books that I said I was never buying ever again, um, I picked up real books, actual, real, honest to goodness books, and these are to go in tandem with my Arrow collection. These are Arrow books, movies that I I am genuinely interested in. Um, first one up is the Blair Witch Project by uh, Russ Gome, and. I had a quick flick through this, it's got a forward by the, the directors, an introduction by the other direction, it's got some good images and it's just lots of how about the movie came about, some nice stills, history of the movie, uh, the Blair Witch experience, how, how it sort of blazed a path as it did of kind of found footage stuff. Um, like I just mentioned, Ghost in the Shell, 
I don't know what's in this book at all, but I, I am in a ghost in the shell mood at the moment. Um, this one's by Andrew Osmond. And it's, it just has like... <laughs> talks about the film, the director, the manga writer, the script writer, production, uh, selling the movies, the Deckard connection, which sounds quite interesting. Um, lots of like stills and cool images as well. Uh, just, you know, like I said, I I'm big into the Ghost in the Shell world at the moment, so I'm, I'm really happy to pick this up. Um, and final book by Alexandra Heller Nichols, and this is something that I am really hoping I will get around to releasing pretty soon in Blu-ray. It's a, a really fun movie, and that is The Hitcher. Again, I've never kind of read anything deep into The Hitcher, but I do like it. We took me and Brian Lomax talked about it on the Brits on Flicks podcast if you haven't subscribed to that on iTunes I suggest you pop over there and shameless plug yes it is but just go and download it it's, it's pretty entertaining sometimes and me and Brian sometimes get into it sometimes agree it's an interesting podcast the one about the Hitcher is particularly fun um, and this again has got just some like, really fantastic images these are fairly like, decent books the only thing I do have about it is they are pricey um, if you go to the Arrow website, these are about 16 quid each. Um, they were selling them in FOP uh, at a discounted price of £8 each or £5 if you bought them with something else. So I bought all three, 15 quid, and I'm quite happy with that. I've got a holiday coming up soon, a little break, so this will be my holiday reading. If I can't watch a movie, I want to be reading about it. Yeah. So there's what I've picked up. I'd love to know your thoughts on the movie. I'd like to know what you think of The Ghost in the Shell. Particularly, I'd like to know, spoiler free, what you think of Perfect Blue. I'm probably going to watch that sooner rather than later. And I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.